Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 12.1 Developer Beta 3. Now by the time you're watching this, the public beta could be out, or it may be another day or so before that's out to the public. Now yesterday Apple released iOS 12.0.1. This is not the same thing. In fact, Beta 2 had many of the fixes that 12.0.1 had. So for me, this came in at 337.8 megabytes on my iPhone XS Max. Let's take a look at the build number. You can see the build number is 16B5077C, and this particular build doesn't really have anything exciting in it. Beta 2 already fixed the issue with Wi-Fi, and Apple made no mention of a fix for LTE. In fact, their note says there's no known issues or bugs, so maybe there's nothing that's going on with this. Maybe they fixed some security updates. We don't really know, and at this time, it's hard to say what's actually resolved. However, I did notice one thing on the iPad that they haven't fixed yet that they did with yesterday's update, so let me show you that. So you'll see here's the number pad on the iPad, and the 123 is in the old place in this particular beta. They haven't moved it back, so they'll probably do that with beta 4, but they moved it with 12.0.1 back over to here, so that hasn't been changed back. Now on the old devices, the 5S and the 6S Plus that I have here, everything seems to be working fine. Scrolling is smooth, games work fine, and there's not really a difference between beta 2 and beta 3. Now many of you are going to ask me about battery life, and on beta 2, battery life was okay depending on the day so if we take a look at battery life for beta 2 I'll show you that but it takes a few days to know how beta 3 will be so I'll be doing a follow-up on that but you'll see three hours three and a half or three hours 42 minutes if we go here two hours three hours two hours it hasn't been great to be honest for me and some people may have experienced better battery life but for me it hasn't been really that good at least on the 10s max so hopefully they'll do some updates with that now other than that of course i ran a geek bench so let me show you that now before we talk about the geek bench one thing is if you have your silent switch off and you go to the lock screen, turn it on, and push these buttons, they actually make a clicky noise. So they'll actually click, and they make a sound. You can't really hear it now, but you can actually hear it in, when it's more quiet or in a different environment. So there's a little bit of a change there. Now let's take a look at the Geekbench. On this Geekbench, I got 4,817 for single core, 11,400 for multi core. And that's pretty good. It's a little bit faster with single core if we take a look here. I ran it again, but I think the processor was too hot, so the numbers went down. But if you take a look here, and beta 2 is right here, we're a little bit faster with single core, a little bit slower with multi core. You're really not going to notice a difference on your device. And that's really it for this beta. So there's not much else going on that I could find, and that's it. So if I find anything new, I'll let you know. If you find anything, let us know in the comments below. And of course, I'll link the wallpaper as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.